hey guys welcome back in this lecture we are going to cover timers so as in the introduction lecture we go through the timers so we have three type of timers uh, the first one is 100 millisecond the second range is 10 millisecond the third range is 1 millisecond so t0 to t63 these 64 timers are basically 100 millisecond timers and like what is this 100 millisecond 10 millisecond and 1 millisecond we can understand it from uh, this table so as we know that 1000 millisecond is equal to 1 second so 100 millisecond would be equal to 0.1 seconds okay uh, so you can simply convert it uh, 100 multiply by uh, if i say 100 and multiply by milli is obviously basically uh, 1 divided by 1000 so let's cut these so we have got uh, 1 by 10 which is 0 0.1 okay so 100 millisecond is equal to 0 0.1 second so that if we further divide it into it would be 1 by 10 as i just showed you so if i write 50 here if i write uh, 50 for the k for the pv for the preset value 50 multiplied by 1 by 10 we would get 5 so to get the 5 seconds to make sure that this timer runs for the 5 second we must give the preset value 50 okay so if we are using a timer of the range of 10 millisecond which is t64 to t126 and if we want to uh, like calculate if we want to count something for 5 seconds we must write 500 uh, if we are using this range of timers because uh, 10 millisecond is equal to that means 0 0.01 and that 0 0.01 means 1 divided by 100 so as you can see that these two zeros would be cut by these two zeros so 5 would be the remaining one so we would get the 5 second timer and if we want to use 1 millisecond timer and we want to count it for 5 seconds then we must write 5000 because 1 millisecond is equal to 0 0.001 which means that 1 divided by 1000 and cutting all those three zeros with these three zeros we get 5 and so it would run for 5 seconds if we want to count 10 seconds then we would write 100 instead of 50 for the 100 millisecond timer and 1000 instead of 500 for 10 millisecond and 10,000 instead of 5000 for 1 millisecond timer and you can uh, like calculate your numbers uh, as per this formula so like if you want some timer to run for 50 seconds and you are using this one so you can simply write 500 it means that this zero would be cut by this zero and you would get 50 so to get the 50 second you must write 500 let's see where we have to uh, write this 500 in the software so in the software i will uh, simply use x0 uh, which is the enable and then i will uh, click here or i can use the f6 command and i will select the timer from here here you see i want uh, the timer and here it is asking me for the device number okay so what i would do i would go to the timers and i would see here is the device number t0 to t63 i am using this range and we will be using a five second timer for now so i will select t0 for the timer and then here it is asking me if you want to add k or d i will go for the k and here i would write 50 okay so this 50 is basically this 50 the constant one okay so if i write 500 right now my timer would be for the 50 seconds so to get the timer of 5 seconds i must write 50 here as i showed you the formula so i will click ok so my timer is created uh, with the k constant 50 uh, and it would count up to 5 seconds now let's uh, use its normally open context so to do that i would change the device name to t and because my timer is t0 so i would select the device number as uh, 0 so i can write the comment as timer 
output or I can write a timer done okay so when this timer would count for five seconds this bit would be high so I want to turn on this output so yeah here is my output I would simply convert it compile it and then I would go online because my simulator is already running so I will change it to run state oh it was already in the run state so I will quickly enable it you can see that the counter has started counting and after five seconds this uh, done bit is now on and my output is on to turn it off either I can set it off or I can add a uh, another stop button to uh, stop it okay so there is one more thing this timer needs constant input like uh, this needs constant enable to count if I turn this off in between uh, you see the k value it resets itself so take a look on that here you see it was k43 like k 4.3 seconds but when I turn the enable bit off it reset so we can use latching for that purpose if or we can set it up uh, it would depend upon our application let me go offline if we have some application in which we want something to be turned on immediately when we enable it and to turn it off after the specific time so let's make a program for that also so I will take the T0 I will take its normally closed contact and I would add an output in this case I would add the output 2 so for now we want the output 2 to be turned on immediately let's download it and uh, we want it to be turned off after 5 seconds so in that case we can use the normally closed contact of the output so here you see sorry, when I turn the enable on this output was turned on immediately and after 5 seconds because of this normally closed contact this turned off but uh, Y0 turned on because of uh, T0 because the T0 bit was energized and due to that this normally closed contact was off okay so this was all about the timers uh, you can use uh, all the other timers as per your need so in the next lecture we will be covering the counters uh, it was all about the timers I hope I made it clear to you see you in the next lecture